Hi, I'm Trisha, founder of Look Fabulous Forever, and we make makeup and skincare and hair care, which is especially suitable when you're older. So today I want to talk to you about simple tips and techniques to make sure that you look your absolute best whenever you apply your makeup. So it's fairly straightforward as far as I'm concerned that the starting point for any good looking makeup has got to be your skin because it's the canvas onto which you're going to apply all the other products. Now, how do you make sure, sure you, that your skin is in tip top um, condition? Well, obviously you use really good skincare. And as you would expect me to say, we have a range of skincare, which is designed very specifically with an older skin in mind, a skin that's likely to be thirstier, more wrinkled, more crepey looking than younger skin. That's the inevitability of uh, getting older. But you can do an awful lot with good skincare to make skin look fantastically good, smoother, generally healthier. And as I said before, a, a basic canvas onto which to put your paints, which is after all what makeup is. So get your skincare right, use it, use it every day, have a routine, make sure that you don't think, oh, I won't bother today because bothering every day will make a huge difference. And the second tip that I want to give you after skincare is to make sure that you use primers. Now, primers are things that a good painter and decorator, if he's a preparer, he or she is preparing a room, would be the, the starting point for making sure that the paint looks brilliant. And primers basically prepare your skin just as a primer on a wall will prepare the wall for what you're going to uh, put on top. So a face primer makes your skin look smoother, makes your makeup go on better, stay put and uh, is absolutely essential in my view. So a face primer, an eye primer does exactly the same thing but it's formulated to suit that small area here, your eyelids which can be quite crepey when you're older and a lip prime which is designed specifically to stop any migration of the lip colour to the lines around your mouth, the feathering and bleeding that, out of the colour that we get. So after skincare, primers are essential. Now the next thing, my next tip, is to get the foundation right. Now by, by right I mean you want something that looks light, doesn't look mask-like that goes on beautifully, that covers whatever you need it to cover, that unifies your skin tone, and generally just makes you look more polished, more finished and more sophisticated, which is what I think a foundation will do. Now we've got two weights of foundation in our range. We've got the Light Look but Beauty Balm, which if you're nearer to 60 than you are to 70, and definitely if you're under 60, then I think that the Light Look But Beauty Balm is pretty much the ideal product. It's exactly what it says on the tin. It's light, it looks light, and it's a balm rather than a foundation. So it's creamy, it's emollient, it works well with your, um, your moisturiser, your daytime moisturiser, and actually will give you a lovely, light, healthy, good covering, but still just look very lightweight, like you're really not wearing anything very much on your face. If, however, you're like me, and I'm 76, I feel I need something a bit better than that for my skin, better in the sense of covering more. So I go for the continuous cover foundation, and I do that because I think it's the perfect formulation for my skin now. And uh, it covers up, you know, the blemishes, the unevenness that I have in my skin tone absolutely beautifully. So it works really, really well. So that's my third tip. My third tip is find the foundation that works best for your skin, depending on how old you are. And remember that our skin keeps changing the older we get. So you have to keep adapting what you're doing to work for you, which is exactly what I've done over the last 10 years since I started Look Fabulous Forever. My next tip is about concealer. I think that whether you use the Light Look Beauty Balm or you use the foundation, you should use concealer as the second part of your process for perfecting your face. How does it do that? 
well it gets to all those areas where you've got a little bit more of a problem so for me that's the inner area here it's around here it's the age spots that I have it's a slight uh, lack of pigmentation that I have on my chin so I use my concealer every day in order to do that correcting of those bits which don't look great without it and I top that concealer with a dab of translucent powder and that perfects it seals it sets it and makes sure that it looks perfect and stays looking perfect all day long until I go to bed. The next thing that I would give you as a tip is to always ask yourself when you look in the mirror, what are my best features? Is it that I've got lovely blue eyes or lovely dark brown eyes? Or is it that my eyebrows are still actually a beautiful shape and just need to be um, enhanced a little bit? Do I have good lips still? Sometimes you do retain a nice fuller lip with a good shape. Or perhaps it's the shape of your face that's really attractive. You've got a heart-shaped face. A heart-shaped face is a sort of like a pointy chin and it comes up. It, it's almost like the perfect face shape in lots of ways because it's pretty and it's easy to enhance. So what's my best features? Or perhaps your hair is your best features. Or perhaps you wear some really funky glasses. I mean, who knows? but you'll know and you'll know the thing that you want to draw attention to. So if you've got great eyes, then obviously go to town on your eye makeup. Your eye makeup, your eye colour might determine the kind of colours that you choose for your eyeshadows. Whatever your best feature is, enhance it, draw attention to it, define it, you know, really, really well so that when people look at you, they see your best feature, but you, they see your best feature at its absolute best that you've brought out the best of it. If your hair is a great feature, then obviously look at your hair colour and think, how can I use my makeup to make my hair colour look even more gorgeous? My next tip is for glasses wearers. So glasses wearers, I will always say to them, listen, don't panic that you wear glasses. If you find it very, very difficult to apply eye makeup, don't worry about it because you will have around this area here, if you choose the right frames, and by the right frames, I mean frames that you can actually see when people are looking at you, you know, that they're visible to the eye, they're not, they're not trying to disappear. If you wear glasses that add impact and a bit of kapow to your look, then you can make that very definitely a part of how you are making your face up. So use your glasses as a form of substitute eye makeup. Then go to town and make sure that your face makeup, your cheeks and your lips look amazing. Because if they do look amazing, combined with your glasses, you're gonna look terrific. And people are gonna notice how good you look. And they're also gonna see your glasses and think, wow, I love those glasses, they look terrific. So. Don't worry if you're a glasses wearer, use your glasses as part of your look. And my final tip, and it's the one that I would give every single woman over a certain age, I don't think younger ones need it nearly as much as we do, but a certain over a certain age, and I would say from about 50 onwards, you know, your menopause or postmenopausal, always wear a lipstick. And if you do nothing else, put a little bit of lippy on. Because lipstick is the most wonderful way to light your whole face up, to look, to make it look more dynamic, powerful, uh, powerfully attractive, and also done. If you put a bit of lipstick on, everybody assumes you've got makeup on. And you might not have any other makeup on apart from the lipstick, but you have got the lipstick on. And I'd also say my tip always for older uh, women is don't be afraid of a vibrant lip colour. I think red lipstick is an act of rebellion when you get older because you're not supposed to wear it. Who says? I don't say, that's for sure. But I use my lipstick every day to complement what I'm wearing, but also to lift my face to add vibrancy and life and energy. And it's amazing that this one product can do so much. And I think it, I think if I was marooned on a desert island, but I had a bit of lippy, or I could make myself some lipstick somehow with some berry juice or something, that would be my go-to. So I hope that was helpful. They're all the things that I think really, really, really make a difference to the way that you look as you age and 
they're not that difficult to achieve. We've got lots of videos to help and support you to do that, re to all of that really, really well. So thanks for watching. And uh, as I said, I do hope that was helpful. Bye-bye.